What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Guilds of Ravnica draft here on Magic the Gathering Online slash UK Internet Explorer.bing. I'll be your host. Oh, another Connive Concoct. This card was great last round. Do I do I pass it and just be like, let's try another guild, or do I just stick with what works? This guy does not seem impressive. When it attacks with at least two other creatures, so it has Battle Cry. Battalion, not Battle Cry. It has bat Battalion. Um, you get to make a make one ones. What size are you as an MTG creature? Uh, seventeen, seventeen. I'm the largest MTG creature there is. I'm just gonna take the Connive Concoct. This card is very, very good. I think. Bacon Bolt, which is oh god, do I just take this too? And we just we just relive the same deck. Return to three multicolor cards from your graveyard to your hand. This card seems great, but uh, five mana is a lot in limited. Uh, I could also just take Dark Band Age, Dark Blade Agent, which is clearly a, a heavy performer. Destroying an artifact creature enchantment is pretty huge. Oh god, am I just gonna draft Sultai for the first two decks, even though I feel like it's pretty strong? I don't know. I don't know. Um also, you know, status was really good in the last in the last draft as well. Like being able to give our guy plus one plus one in death touch. They tried to fight it, we got to save it. <sighs> yeah, I'm taking this. I think it's just this oh, a Demir spy bug. I I think that's better than Artful Takedown. And in a perfect world, it's Conclave Tribunal as well. In a perfect world, Artful Takedown, Dark Blade Agent, either one of these four comes back. Or Crawl Foragers. I'll take a 4-4 for four, 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 5. That gains us some life. Demir Spy Bugs, where, I, where you want to be, I think. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target player puts the top two cards. Why is this rare? This definitely feels uncommon, right? Like Sphinx's, Sphinx's Tutelage, I think it was called, uh, milled them every time you drew a card, which was far more consistent than casting blue spells, I think. And it also had another ability on it? I don't know. Why does this guy have haste? A green creature with haste. Fascinating. I'm going to take the Muse Drake, maybe? Maybe it's Mephitic Vapors. I was not impressed with this guy. I think he deals like 4 damage, but 7 mana is a lot in this format. Like, if it could hit creatures, I'd be super on board, but... It cannot. Um... Surveil too. I'm tempted to take the vapors because I think this guy. No, this guy, this wouldn't survive because it's a triggered ability. So, um, I want to take the vapors because I don't know if we're. Yeah, we're definitely blue. We could have taken the muse drake there. Doesn't matter. Conclave Cavalier is pretty insane. I think Drake's fine. I, I don't think it's. I don't think it's so good. I think it's very good. One three on board just doesn't actually affect things as well as it could. I'm gonna take the whisper agent. Seems like a nice addition to uh, Demir Spybug here. Also, that flash, though. Uh, Hired Poisoner seems great. I can get behind a Hired Poisoner. It kills anything, guys. Did you guys know that? It kills anything. Deadweight? Yeah, Deadweight's pretty good removal. We actually didn't get any Deadweights in the last pack, in the last draft. Probably Guildgate here. I think it's better than Bats. And I also like being able to actually cast the cards in my deck. Another Mephitic Vapors? Vigor Spine Worm? Praise? No, none of these cards are any good. I'm just going to take the second Vapors. Second Vapors is probably backbreaking in certain decks. How many Hired Poisoners is too many? I think two is probably too many.
Oh, the Crawl Forgers did come back. So did Darkblade Agent? These people ain't got no respect. Two and one. Yeah, the last last draft we went to one. This guy's fine. It's a, it's a fine top end card. Like I said, 6-5 is big, but 7 mana is a lot. And also, like, there's not many times where you're dealing that much damage more than, like, 2 or 3. I don't hate 4-5 for 5. Four, five. Move it on over. Do, 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 do. Wow, Book Devourer, last pick. <laughs> six six mana trample, uh, six mana for four or five trample when it deals combat damage. You may discard. Yeah, this card seems great. I oh, I thought this was niv Mizza for a second, and I was like, maybe we're just abandoning this this green for the good blue, or for the good red, rather. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just Artful Takedown. I can't imagine it's not here. Yeah, we're going to Artful Takedown. Wiffums McGee, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. MDG Skinner, I'm not sure if I saw that sub, but really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Oh... House Guild Mage, okay, okay. Guild Mage's Forum, okay, okay. Guild Mage's Forum is actually pretty good. It, it's a it's a nice splash card. It lets you play your gold cards. It lets you play your regular cards. Like if you're splashing for green, you can still play this on five, making a green. Um, but it also lets you cast like this guy's a two two, this guy's a three four, stuff like that. Disinformation campaign is probably pretty good. Having surveil on a stick is pretty good. Like, whatever we take, we're probably not seeing the rest. I don't think we have a ton of Surveil. I also wouldn't mind having another 2-drop that has a pretty versatile ability and can trigger Surveil on a whim. I'm going to take the Guild Mage. I think it's probably better. Eh, it's just Bats here. There's another Foragers here. We didn't take it last time, but I feel like the life gain is actually relevant in this format. Gaining 2-3 life is... Not terrible. But then again, like, if we take this out, we actually have no incentive to be green, right? Like, we just don't really need to be. I'm never, I'm really, I'm rarely impressed with this card. Three mana to discard a card. If this was two mana to discard, you could, I could see playing it on five or seven, rather. But three mana to discard a creature, like, I'd almost rather just play the creature instead of this guy. Now I'm echoing. Did you try muting one of them? It could be Locket. I, I almost like Bats a little better. Yeah, I want to take the Bats. Bats is just a fine... Oh, wow. Foil Tajik. I don't think that's worth anything, but I'm going to check because the set's new. Nope, it is actually worth less in Foil. That is funny when that works out that way. Golgari Guild get his things. Justice Strike is very, very good. Uh, Surveil 2, then draw a card. Don't care about that. Each point. Yeah, I don't actually like this card that much. I need a solution that involves less energy. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, five mana, this is just not what I want to be doing. And I can't target the creature, so, like... Disdainful Stroke does seem very, very good. Yeah, I'll just take the Disdainful Stroke. I, I have... Wow, another one? In multiples, this might be better. I mean, this is just a bad Dinrova Horror, right? For, like, for one more mana, uh, with Dinrova Horror, you get to choose what you return, and you get... They still get the discard, and you get a 4-4. Four, four. Like... Meh. Like, the, my problem with Discovery is that it's a, a sorcery. Like, this just doesn't need to be a sorcery. I'm probably taking the Demir Guildgate. 
There's a lot of crawl foragers. I bet we can get a crawl foragers back. I'm going to take this to try it. I'm not sold on it. I'm really not, but you never know until you try. Am I right? I'm going to take a two drop. Right? Yeah, nothing else is great in this pack. We can take severed strands. We have a spinal centipede. Nah, I don't care about that. I'll take the child. Destroy the child. Oh, Sinister Sabotage. That's a nice one. Now we have Disdainful Stroke and Sinister Sabotage. Yes, please. I like Invent. Searching for an instant in our sorcery. That's pretty good. Devious Cover-Up. We can just play Counter Spells. We can just play the Control Deck. This is not bad. It also lets us play Book Devour. I'm going to take this because I think it's better than Devious Cover up here. And if we do end up able to play the red cards, it's Book Devour is pretty sweet. So is this. So I'm going to take the Drake here. Wall of Mist. I like having a Wall of Mist in the sideboard. It's probably better than the second child of night. I'm going to take the Locket just in case we are green as well. Go Gargildiate. All right. Well. It's looking like we have a pretty easy green splash here for Statue, which is basically like Vindicate for 4 mana. Instant Speed Vindicate. I think the Passwall is fine. Like, I, I, is that what it's called? Passwall? I don't know what it's... Yeah, here. I mean, like, this is what I mean. Like, it comes back pretty late. It's not like a super high pick. It's just a 1-3 for 2. It, it, it does a lot of work in the late game, but I'm not going to take it super high over, like, a better card. Mausoleum Secrets. Two mana for an instant. Search your library for a black card. Yep, not playing that. That's hot garbo. Glaive? I think we've learned our Glaive lesson, right? I mean, we only have two guild gates right now, but... Even even with one, it's still plus one, plus oh, Vigilance, and... What does this guy do? Draw a card for four, copy an instant or sorcerer spell with... Yeah, that's a little expensive. I'm pretty sure it's Glaive over dead weight. Even like even just for vigilance and menace, it's pretty strong. Like putting on a six five, making it vigilant and menace. Like uh, putting on a poisoner. Yeah, we're gonna take the glaive. I think glaive is probably better than dead weight number two here. Wow. This seems this seems like a card I would really go deep in blue for. Or green rather. <laughs> like that's this card is busted. It's double green, but this card just wins the game. That's nine damage. Wow. Deadweight is so much better. Disagree. Heavily disagree. You clearly did not see the last draft. Um, Glaive of the Guild Pack takes over a game. Negative two, negative two enchantment destroys one small creature. Completely disagree. Uh, I don't care about Creeping Chill. Rampaging Monument's actually pretty good. Surprisingly good. I almost want the Gateway Plaza or the Demir Guild Gate here. But if we don't splash, this guy's just better. And one of these might come back. What cards are we not super excited about? Yeah, I don't think you win combat against this card. I don't think you win many things. I'm going to take the giant out. I'm super not not on board with the giant. Everything else seems fine, though. Um, I think the payoff on this card is really good. Like, it becomes a 4-4, then a 5-5, and has trample. Yeah, I'm going to take this guy. Don't care about, is it Guildgate? Glowsporshawn, what do you do? 3-1 for 2. When it enters the battlefield, put the top three cards of your library in the grave. You can put a land card from it on top of it. Yeah, that's terrible. I could care less about that. I'd rather just have another Dark Blade agent. <laughs> I, I like Command the Storm a lot, but... Yeah, we're just taking Dark Blade number two. Deadly Visit, huh? And another Golgari Guildgate. Arg. Hopefully some of these Guildgates come back, but we kind of need a Deadly Visit type card. Oh, Demir Guildgate. Yeah, that's better than anything else in this pack that I'm seeing. Yep. Oh, another Demir Guildgate. All right, so we, we actually... 
We actually made it happen. Hmm. We get to put back, uh... Get to put back this guy, which is very, very nice. Um, anything else I care about? Not really. Whisper Agent is good. Works well with Rampaging Monument. Also, the other Surveil guys. Do I want another Guild Gate? Maybe? Uh, I don't like Undercity Uprising that much. Especially if it's our splash color. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Whisper Agent there. And <laughs> good. I, I like I like what? Wow. I'm not taking a second one, but that's pretty surprising to me. I will take another Guildgate here. We don't actually need any more playables, so. Pitiless Gorgon? It's basically just a better hired poisoner, so I'll give that a go. Uh destroying an artifact or enchantment seems fine. Yeah, this deck looks pretty good too. I can take out Spinal Centipede. That's not... Dude's not super impressive. If we have decent removal, Art will take down Deadly Visit. Uh, you actually go there. Why are you... Sort by Convert Mana Cost. There we go. That's better. This is probably going to be two more than it's five. Another Dark Blade? Why do these go so late? This card is so good. I would definitely play this over Pitiless Gorgon. 100% of the time. Wow, that's really surprising. I could see wanting the Golgari Locket as well. This deck almost looks better than our previous one. Eh, I'll take O3 Wall. Actually, this is a late GERD for battle. Wow, that is impressively late. Sure. Yeah. Guild gates for days. Ah, uh, Crawl Forger was a card I actually wanted to, to board in. Um, and we got two of them now. That's not bad for our... Uh, this is not going to cost four. Come on. Our deck is actually not terribly expensive. So this is a four. This is a five. This is a two. This is actually a super low curve. And we have five guild gates, which is pretty nice. I don't think we actually want the locket. Our curve's pretty low. Yeah, this is a great pickup because we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, we have more than that, actually. We have 11 cards that trigger. It's a multicolor spell, right? Yeah, we have 11 cards that trigger that thing. So one more, but, but still pretty solid. Yeah, this deck looks great. Sort by color. And we only have two green cards, right? Yeah, this one and this one. So I think we'll play one forest or one, yeah, one forest maybe. But otherwise we have one, two, three, four, five, ten. Uh, probably going to nine here. Seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, seven. This is nine, nine, four. Yeah, that seems great. Nine, nine, four seems perfect. Oh, we actually need two for the bounty though. That's interesting. So, sort of a color again. I think we can cut one blue for another green. Or we can actually... No, we're not going to play 16 lands and unlock it. Right? Maybe. I'm only playing five green sources because we do have Bounty of Might. And we only have one double blue, one double black card. Everything else is fine with one of each. So, I think that's actually okay. Yeah, this deck seems good. Yeah, Glaive is, Glaive is pretty insane. I will play first. Keep. Snap keep. Two drop, three drop. This guy gives surveil or we can equip. Into four drop. Yeah, this hand's great. Yeah, I think 16 plus Locket's definitely a possibility. I do want to hit my land drops in this deck, though. Yep, that was a good one. Uh, 
Yeah, I could see this being the curve and then just playing this guy to trigger this guy and this guy. Yikes. Really? Is when you're going to show up? Don't, don't disdainful stroke me, bro. Because you cannot. Pay costs. You going to bounce this dude? Oh, radical idea seems so bad. No offense to Jesse RW2. It's just like, it can trips. Like, it just literally replaces itself the first time, and then the second time, it, you're just replacing any card in your hand with it. Yeah, our hand seems pretty good. We can actually surveil into a land, then play Whisper Agent, make this a 5 5. Draw a card with this. Doesn't seem terrible. They didn't play anything. Fascinating. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I don't feel like equipping the Glaive is correct here. I'd rather just keep my man up to play a guy. They have seven cards and four mana. That's pretty scary. Uh oh, we're doing a thing. Artful maneuver, huh? Interesting. You're killing this guy instead of this guy. Okay. Well then. Kind of just want to surveil here. Discovery cast. Because if we can hit a land, we can actually... Oh, uh, we did not. I'm going to put you in the graveyard. I'm going to put both these in the graveyard, unfortunately. Yep, that was pretty pretty rough. Four lands and 14 cards. Seems good. Balance your disinformation campaign. Uh, I'm pretty easily going to discard Bounty of Might here, unfortunately. I don't really want them to see it, but... You know... I mean, I'm not going to discard the two playables in my hand. They're probably like, wow, that's a bold strategy. That's actually pretty good. If they try to do something to this guy, we can actually Sinister Sabotage it. If not, we can Whisper Agent. They have six cards in hand. Yeah, no. And we get to Surveil, which is pretty sweet. Um, put that in the graveyard. Like, I think we can hit more lands here. That's a great land to hit. Man, get rid of their guy and draw a card. Seems good. If we hit a land, we can equip the Glaive and play Whisper Agent. I'm okay with that. Okay. Still five cards in their hand. Disinformation campaign's pretty strong. Oh, they just Radical Ideas. They discard. Oh, no. It's just a second Radical Ideas. Weird. Like, in order to play these as my 20, 23rd, 22nd and 23rd cards in my deck, like, I'd have to be pretty short on playables, right? Discard Child of Night for another Radical Ideas. Okay. Unless there's some sort of really strong combo that they're trying to implement here that I'm just not seeing, but... William, have a good afternoon, buddy. Take it easy.
centipod land. Give me a land. <sighs> yeah, this is actually fine. I'll just equip here, attack for four. Keep up disdainful stroke. Well, whatever this is, we're stroking it. No, boy. No, sir. Put it in the trash can. That card's very good. I mean, we could kill it, right? It's a 5-4. We have Artful, Do Artful Takedown, but if you're going to spend 6 for... Sure. All right, so they're out of two cards again. I wonder if playing this guy is correct here. We play this, we equip. No, we can't do both, so the answer is nay. I mean, I'm going to risk them not having a a counterspell for this, because it has to be, like, literally the four mana one or sinister, and now they don't have two blue, so it seems fine. Now they don't have blue for the disinformation campaign. Okay, well... Everything's coming up Millhouse, it seems. Like this is six damage and they're at four. Yeah, we're just gonna discard takedown here if they wanna play takedown. Or if they wanna play disinformation campaign rather. I can't imagine they wouldn't, but they could also have just a four mana dude. Yeah, that's pretty obnoxious. Um, whatever he's trying to Yeah, I'm just gonna keep that dude on top. We can play that and glaive here. Put you to four. Play a spy bug. Spy bug is lethal. See you at the crossroads, 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 see you at the crossroads. I'm gonna lose everybody. Sure. Lazav is pretty good here. I guess it's good with radical ideas. You can discard your biggest guy. They can bring back, they can copy this guy, which is pretty nice. Unfortunately, this is six. If we move this over, this is three and this is one, or four rather. So it's like they're at four where neither is lethal. They also have a ton more cards than we do. They have four, we have none. So not ideal. Anything else that's worth copying other than City Watch Sphinx? Not really. Really? Do you have any... Interesting. Oh, this is Menace, actually. Never mind. That is not... They might just be looking for an answer here. I forgot about the Menace. My bad. My bad. Sorry, guys. New set. New set. New set. Who dis? Uh, no blocks. I mean, do they have it? Four four cards in hand? Do they have a removal spell? There's an artful takedown in here. There's already a necrotic wound. Okay. Well, that's one that's one problem, I guess. Try again. Oh, they gained two life. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Let's get them. 
Nope, you have a thing. Oh, you're just gonna jump start there. Sure. Wish I had a way to surveil here. I wish this said plus one, plus one, and death touch and surveil. I'd be like, all right, cool. <laughs> Seems good. Four cards in hand. Yeah, the sword gives menace. I keep forgetting about the menace in, in all of its forms. So they're playing three radical ideas. Wow, that is aggressive. I mean, I guess it's fine. It lets you discard your lands in the late game, right? Like, if I draw an extra land, I get to discard it to radical ideas. But, like... Like, I'm having trouble... I have trouble making cuts sometimes. Where I'm like, this card's good, this card's good, this card's good. And, like, you're looking for an answer. And, like... If you don't... If you're spending, like, three of your slots on radical ideas, like... Are you just short on playables? Or... I mean, they either have it or they don't, right? Like... Hmm. Demir Spybug gets the job done. That was pretty good. They made us discard a bunch of cards in there. We have Sprouting Renewal, which is nice for the disinformation, but it's, like, it's... The problem is, if we use this, they've drawn a card, we've discarded a card, and we've wasted a card to get rid of it. Which is pretty frustrating, but, like, I don't know if that's... I don't know if our, what are our other options, you know? I would rather this be a crushing canopy, which is kind of funny because... I mean, I must want Crawl Forager. It's just a big dude that they can't really deal with. Or, like, this guy's too expensive. I don't think we'll be able to play it. Like, I want to be able to soft deck this guy and just play it. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think if they don't get their dis disinformation campaign, I think we're okay. We're going to miss everybody. We're going to miss everybody. This hand seems great. I will keep it. We need some islands, but any island will do. One island gets us two, if you know what I'm saying. You might not. I don't think I know what I'm saying, to be quite honest. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What a radical idea. Eh, we'll just play this guy. It's the first of the month. Oh, wake up, wake up, oh, wake up. It's the first of the... Well, that's sad. I'm getting real tired of these. That guy seems insane in this deck. <laughs> this is my win condition. Well, put him in the trash can. So now if we draw an island, I'm not sure if we're playing Drake or Bat. Probably Bat. Probably just play Island into Bat. I'm okay with that. Wow, another another Leapfrog, huh? Alright, well. My guy costs one more, but it always has Leap. It always has Jump. Float. Huh. <sighs> 
It's the first one of the month. Oh, wake up. Why do I have this? Uh, what is this? Bone Thugs and Harmony? And we're gonna miss everybody. Okay, three leapfrogs means I'm probably bringing in neg one, neg one. That's probably what we're doing here. That's pretty insane. I didn't see any of these leapfrogs in the first round. And the uh, the radical ideas make uh, make a lot more sense now. They're not so radical anymore. I like that. I'm tempted to play that during upkeep just to see if we can hit another blue for Sinister Sabotage, but having Disdainful Stroke is also very good. Alright, they're not playing six mana guys, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like this. This is nice. We'll definitely be blocking one of these Leapfrogs. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. We didn't see... And they had three of them, and they, like, they had seven cards, six cards left in their deck, so... Oh my god, dude. We're totally bringing in... Totally bringing in the rain card. I don't know what it's called. Not the rain card. Is it rain? It might be also be rain. I guess we can just look right now, right? Vapors. Mephitic Vapors. Okay, that's enough non-blue cards, I think. Probably blocking Child of Night here if they uh, they try some shenanigans. And by if they try some shenanigans, I mean no matter what. Yep. Got it. Um, yeah, that guy's fine. I'll just keep multiples. The problem with not blocking this is that they just gain infinite life, and uh, it's not ideal for us, so. Would have liked to see an artful takedown there. That would have been reasonable, because then we can actually just counter it. Would love to cast Sinister Sabotage one day. <laughs> one day. I like that we do have Bounty up. We have uh, Bounty Mana. It, our mana for Bounty is Bountiful. So that's pretty cool. Apparently there's a new Jack and Daxter game coming out for PS4, which would be pretty sweet. Those are solid adventure games. Oh my god, so many radical ideas. This deck is full of radical ideas. Like cartoony... <laughs> but yeah, I like that you're actually watching me in the tattoo shop. That's pretty sick. Um... 
Yeah, that's fine. We can easily discard forest here. Um, yeah, put that on top for sure. That card's great. Pretty sure I'm just going to six you here. We could also get back Muse Drake. Surveil three, get back Muse Drake, hit a land. I'm pretty okay with that. Two, three, four, five... Oh, wow, they didn't even flinch. Um, so put this in the trash can. Put this on top, then put this on top of that. Get back Muse Drake, draw the land, play the land. Now we have to keep up Disdainful Stroke. Yep, that's pretty good. And we have Sinister Sabotage and uh, Statute next turn. Do I care about that? Kind of. Yeah, whatever. You probably have the uh, counter for four card. No. Okay. Well then. We're making records. Cyberdrag, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Much love. Oh, they do have... Mo oh, this is Moss Lamb Secrets, not... Um, equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard, which is how many? One, two, three, four, five. All right, so you get a... Sort of for a black card with converted mana cost five or less. Sure. I wish it would say somewhere what the undergrowth is. <laughs> like, it doesn't say in the chat. It doesn't say on the card. It doesn't... Like, I just have to count and I hope I'm right. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. I assume it's five because that's how counting works. Lazav. Interesting. Arena has the number on the card. That does not surprise me for some reason. Yeah, just play your Lazav. You worked so hard to get it. Oh, a bat. All right. Well, now I get to counter your Lazav, so that's pretty cool. Three, four, five. Not lethal yet, but... We're halfway there. Living on a bat to take my hand. I feel good about this match. Play the swamp. So you have a Lazav and one other card in hand. Uh, yeah, you can stay on top. You're good enough. They're at two. Sure. I have double lethal in hand. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm probably just going to kill this. They have no cards. Uh, statute. Surveil. Seems good. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's... Keep the keep the Demir train rolling. Oh, this is a salt high deck, not a Demir deck, dummy. <laughs> you know, I guess you're right, guy who sounds like that. I guess you're right. Did 
The sand seems good if we can hit any black. I'm going to keep this and assume that we can. We are on the draw. Living on a prayer. That is the YouTube comment guy. I know. I like watching him when he gets very salty. It makes me feel good about my life choices to not play Magic the Gathering for a living. That's the guy. Demir Spybug versus Firemind's Research. I'm okay with that. Oh, that was a good. That was a good draw. This cutie. Followed by this guy. Followed by this guy. Woo. Our deck is a powerful wizard. I don't actually care about that for some reason. I see. Oof, this guy next turn. This guy's probably going to hit upkeep. I want to hit my land, so. More like Sleep Frog is right. I agree with you. Upkeep. Oh no, you're going to do a thing. Sure. You got it. Exiling that seems pretty sad. Land anyway. Never didn't have it. I mean, to be fair, that's not the best thing you could have actually countered, so I'm okay with that. Ooh, a Dark Blade Agent. Or a Deadweight. Probably just going to play this guy, right? Piston Fist Cyclops and a bunch of counter spells don't seem great. Sure. <laughs> Also, this is the uh, two two four mana counter spells, huh? Seems fascinating. I guess we can serve. Yeah, let's actually do this because we can just hit a guy. Connive, no concoct. Okay, you got to be really careful with these because it's like. Do you have a third, a third counter spell? Is your deck just mono counter spells? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Wow, three devious cover-ups. Three four-mana counterspells. This is actually incredible. Pretty, pretty amazing. Alright, so you're not going to be able to counter my next thing, which is sad because I don't really have a next thing, unless I have Bounty of Might. Bounty of Might would be pretty bonkers. A land here would be nice. A second black source would be nice, but... <laughs> That's how you're going to do me, huh? Alright. That's cool. Yeah, shuffling the others back in doesn't seem super exciting. I mean, you have one card in your hand, so... I'm not super sold on the, the strength of a three, four mana counter spells. I mean, I think the biggest strength of them is that they uh, exile my graveyard, which means I can't uh, do certain things. However... Disdainful Stroke seems very good here. I don't think I'm attacking with everything, though. God, I really want a bounty, but what are the odds they just have? If they have a counterspell, like, it's pretty backbreaking. I think we can wait till we have eight mana to keep up Disdainful Stroke. I don't think we're really losing anything here. Pick up 
pay costs. Oh, well, that's radical. Radical idea seems great with Firemind's research. We're definitely bringing in uh, the three mana green card for this thing. This thing is powerful. They didn't draw a card last turn. That's interesting. And every cast that deals one damage each opponent, sure. That's fine. Not a thing I'm super concerned with. Notice they are keeping up counterspell mana. Bounce card doesn't really scare me too much. If we bounty the might, bounty of might rather, we have a bunch of different uh, targets. Oh man, if they counter this. Oh god, what if they tap like a million mana to do a thing? That'd be so gas. Okay. Whoa, that was great. Unless they shoot this guy with like a stupid thing. In which case, it's still a two for two. Oh, they didn't do anything. They just literally traded dead weight and two damage for the piston fist, which is... This is all fine. I'm not super... This guy's still coming at me. Where are all my... Where are all my surveils at? One, two, three, four, five, six. Any one land we can play around four mana counter spell pretty well. Sure, that can resolve, that can resolve, this cannot resolve. Draw a card. Seems good. I'm okay with it. That has a surveil on it. We now need two more lands to cast this safely, but getting that out of their hand when they only have one card in hand is pretty good. They will be able to draw a card, but... That's life, guys. That is... Alright, that's good. That's a good one. Although this guy does have uh, what's known as Manasio. 1-3. Wish you were 1-4. Oh, God. One man away from this Bounty of Might. I mean, they don't have four mana, though. They have to have Disdainful Stroke as their literal last card. I think this is where we go for the... Go for the ham. Go for the hamburger. So we're dealing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 4, 5, I mean, if it's the same, if your last card's the sample stroke, like, yeah, whatever. Okay, sure. I wonder if we should have just put them to one. I'm not sure. I don't know if we care about the electrostatic field. That might have been a misplay. But... I mean, we're at nine. This is a, actually a pretty substantial threat, especially when they have... Yeah, that's a big dude. That is unfortunate. Five counters deals five. Yeah, they can actually go three, four here. And uh, any spell kills us. Undrum Tuna, enjoy your gym visit. Hmm, this is, yep, this is pretty bad. This guy's a lot better if you actually have uh, 
cards that surveil. I mean, to be fair, they did counter like the first four spells we played. All of which are very, very good. Um, and they tried to counter another. <sighs> Discard. Yeah, we're probably just dead here. Again, Crushing Canopy, being able to kill this guy, this guy, or this guy is pretty strong. Crushing Canopy seems insane. Yeah, this is not going to work out well. Hopefully they have a spell and then we can just Sinister Sabotage and everything gets bigger, but I don't think this is going to do anything, to be quite honest. Yep, dead on board. Yeah, this I mean we couldn't win this game. Alright, so sprouting renewal comes in. Four fours seem pretty good here, to be quite honest. Uh don't care about you. Deadweight doesn't seem great. Unblockable seems good. Child of Night seems bad. I could see bringing in Recluse just because it blocks the 3 4. It's not great, but. really need to land here. I can't keep this hand. Uh, this is keepable, though. Uh, yeah, we can keep that guy, too. Vapors could be good. Um, it's only against the tokens, though. Like, as other creatures, it's not really relevant. Like, they have uh, four threes and three fours and X fours, etc. So, one threes, like you do. There's a lot of green. It is enough to cast Bounty. This also kills uh, an enchantment, which is nice, but... Without the fire mines thing, I don't know if they're going to have enough push through to get... Like, they had to draw a bunch of cards off that. I think they drew, like, three or four cards off that. Alright, infinite Golgari guild gates. I mean, we're not going to play anything when you have four mana sitting up. When I know you have at least three four mana counter spells, which is pretty ridiculous for limited. Uh, statue. Get rid of this guy. Yep, seems fine. Murmuring Mystic, pretty strong. Alright, there's a lot of lands. Yeah, Sonic Assault does seem bad. I'm not a fan of Sonic Assault. I guess, like, it just deals 4 damage, though, you know? Like...
if this card sticks, it's very, very strong. Devious cover up, sure. Well, they have five cards, we have one card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have drawn four more lands than they have, so, you know, we got that going for us. Sure, that's fine. Never, never lucky. They have six cards. Like, they're probably just going to counter literally everything we play. Eh, that's actually better than the alternative. Doesn't matter. They have five cards. Pretty sure we're not going to get out of this one alive. Yep, don't care about that guy. Come on, dude. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 lands, 4 spells. Seems... Oh, 5 spells. My bad. <sighs> Can't really compete with that. Gonna take two. I wish they could win faster so that I don't feel terrible about losing two. Four mana counter spell. They have four cards in hand. 100% countered. And they have this guy. They can literally just sacrifice this guy to destroy it. And then have really favorable blocks. That's actually kind of funny. Yeah, might as well equip, I guess. Of course, they have the onboard answer. <laughs> kind of sad. All right. Well, they didn't waste any time, at least. Tap down this guy, deal us two. Attack for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, really? You don't, why don't you attack with this guy? Or this guy? You're at 20. Why wouldn't you just alpha there? I have a 2 3. I don't understand anything that's happening right now. Yes, put the 13th land in the graveyard. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The 11th land, my bad. Draw two, huh? Interesting. Wow, that was, those are actually good draws. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Could not be more done here. Yeah, I'm just scooping to this. It's just not even like, yeah, we're just gonna hit two more lands. Okay, sure. Oh boy, good times.
Oh, I'm in your stream leaving now. Oh, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. Yeah, this hand's great. I will 100% keep this bad boy. Big fan, by the way, and to make things fair, seeing as I have seen your deck, I'm playing is it a few creatures and lots of spells. <laughs> Who are you in chat, though? That's what I want to know. All right, good to know, good to know. Um, I'm just gonna play this. Yeah, this hand's great. No two drop, but three drop into four drop into lots of things. Also, so here's the thing, guys on YouTube, I mentioned this, or, or on, on Twitch right now, I mention this all the time. Um, that, that for Patreon, you can get like articles and, and podcasts and things for like a dollar a month, which is pretty low. Uh, $1 a month is like the lowest you can actually charge as a content creator. Um, but what would you guys like to see? What can I, what can I put on you on Patreon, patreon.com slash Frank Lepore to get you guys to be like, yeah, I'll definitely give you a dollar for this. What can I, what can I regularly post on there to get you guys interested Also, this is a serious question, so if you guys are going to make jokes, I'll, I understand because it's in your nature, but definitely want a serious answer. Um, this is where everyone gets to be a comedian for just a few minutes. So make your, you know, get it all out. Get it all out of your system where you guys... But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, my livelihood and uh, how I make money, which is content creation. So if you guys are interested in giving me real feedback, I would love that. I would really appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to let me I'm going to highlight some of these and put them in a note. So if you guys have comments, I'm gonna put them in a note here and we're going to. Mine is pretty serious, Hunter Pictures. Nope, still not, <laughs> still not. Might as well get in there with this guy. I, unless they have an instant speed haste guy, we're not. I really like the commander video due to Felix back. If you did those more regularly, perhaps for Patreon subscribers. Um, how do you mean? Like have the have Patreon subscribers actually um play in them? Uh I could play patron decks. Yeah, I ha actually have a patron tier for that, which is I where I critique the decks. Um But I'm not sure if that's the same. Let's get in there with this guy and we'll whisper agent. Let's play a spell before. We actually should have kept the guild gate up. Um, we're gonna draw this. I like that we played a land first. That's that's smart. We're really good at this game. I wanna put it in the graveyard. We don't actually need it here. And we can probably hit another land. We're gonna draw Glaive, you ready? 
<laughs> back to back to Mirror Guild Gates. Yeah, I definitely should have played land second. Because that's what good players do. Uh, Patreon commander deck critiques would probably fall under the regular deck critique header. Like, I mean, the problem is it's like under it's, it's under it's under it's it's under the highest rank tier on Patreon. So I already I kind of already offer that. I mean, I if you have the highest tier and you want me to do a commander deck, I'm more than okay with that. So, but. Well, the thing is, like, streaming the deck and critiques are pretty much the same. Like, I could stream the deck, but I'm probably also going to critique it. I'm probably going to change it. Like, if your deck is not great, I'm probably going to make some changes to it. So it's kind of hard to differentiate the two. Like, if I just play your deck, I'm probably going to make some changes to it. You know what I mean? Uh, we can actually play Muse Drake and Deadweight here. I think that's actually fine. Uh, none of the content that I post on Patreon is also on YouTube. It's all exclusive content. So. Uh, I'm not opposed to doing other content, but if it's not like in my area of expertise, then... Uh, we're just going to play Drake and Guildgate here. All right, cool, cool, cool. I don't assume ever <laughs> every deck submission he gets is just trash. I mean, your deck's probably garbage, so I'm just going to critique it anyway. Like, you can't stop me. Uh, Arena-related content? Like, I don't have any arena cards is the problem. It's so, like, I don't want to have to, like create a new revenue stream for like for like getting arena stuff you know like it's like i don't have to invest a ton into arena just to make solid content to hope i make money back on arena and also i don't mean to shoot uh any of I, if i'm shooting a lot of these comments down it's not intense i'm like i don't think they're bad i don't think they're bad suggestions by any means i'm just trying to be realistic and like um brainstorm a little bit you know like hopefully it's uh hopefully you guys aren't like man he's shooting all these ideas but like i'm just trying to think of like what's realistic and what's not hmm So I'm gonna keep getting in there with this guy and we'll just dead weight this guy. Like they have two cards, we have six. Seems pretty good. And we get to give up Sinister Sabotage, so that's nice. Let's just get this wall out of the way. Oh, the firefighter calendars. Alright, we're having a good time. We're having a good time. Ah, oh, you guys are. You guys are so, so helpful. They have one card in hand. We just get rid of this stupid wall. Maybe. Yeah, and I don't mind. You guys are great. I have no problem with you guys making jokes. What would you rather play this one? Jeskai, Super Spells Revisited, Muldrotha Revisited, or something? Um, I like Muldrotha just because we have Demir and Golgari in the set. Uh, I guess you could say the same about Izzet and Boros, but I think I'm going to go with Muldrotha. Muldrotha. Come on, Josh, how are you going to even ask me that? What do you What do you think I'm going to say? What do you think my answer is going to be? You knew. A walking dog vlog. That's pretty funny. I don't know what to do here. I don't think I care about this, but I'm going to let it happen. I don't care. Where's it going to go? On top? On bottom? Put one card on the top. 
To be fair, Jeskai is greater than Sultai. And banned. I didn't play a land or this because I got so entrenched in the chat, which is pretty bad. All right, let me get my head back in the game. That was a pretty bad misplay. They kept a card on top, too. Oh, uh, I'm going to counter this crab there. This crab man. Uh, you can go into the graveyard. All right. Oh, a dark gentleman. Another dark gentleman. I don't foresee us attacking here. I'm just going to play all the things. And then pass with Artful Takedown next turn. Video one, Frank. I don't know why someone would say my stream is dark. Video two, Frank. I will literally, I will legit strangle Mike. Um, the difference, though, the problem like that is like it may be, it may sound dark, but if you consider that Mike deserves it, what problem is? You know what I mean? I did miss one damage. I'm like, see, you guys are killing me here. Uh, tap, kill, one, two, three. We're just gonna do this. If you got it, you got it. If not, it's fine. Mm-hmm. I figured you'd have it, but, I mean, like, the blocks aren't bad anyway, so it's whatever. If you want to trade here, that's fine. Yep, that's what I figured. We'll go back up to ten, you take three. I will also take, uh, the five-minute split card. That seems like a good one. What does this do? Oh, you're casting the spells from your hand? Yeah, that's fine. That's not bad. That's actually really good with a surveil. Okay, sure. Sure. Yeah, that card's great. I'm actually going to play a land here. And then I'm going to surveil during my... There's no incentive to keep this in hand if they have, like, campaign disinformation. Disinformation campaign or something. I don't want to really, like... I like how quick people are to say, like, you missed the damage to the flyer when I'm literally sitting here uh, pretty engaged in the chat. Yes, my dude. We missed it. Oh, Glaive? I'm going to keep both of these on top. Disdainful Stroke seems pretty OP at this moment. At this moment. Disdainful Stroke at this moment. Disdainful Stroke. Who was the person that went, you know what people want? Sit a, sit in a card for 15 minutes? What? I don't... You mean car? Is car what you were trying to say there? Oh, this is a good trade. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Put it on the stack. Do, 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 do. I can still counter this, right? Got him! That was pretty nice. And we get to draw. And we get to play Glaive. Glaive plugins. I'm a fan of how these matches went so far. What a radical idea. Radical! It's not looking good for our hero. If they are our hero, they hath died. All right, so what did we see? Wish coin crab. Pretty, some pretty standard stuff. Did Magic Online just crashed? Okay. You can never tell. You can never be too sure. Um, 
I actually like Foragers in the Is It matchup because four four it it pairs up well against their O fours and their other things. Not even as their two fives, but I mean the the life gain is actually somewhat relevant. Whereas like hired poison are probably not great. I'd rather have a big guy here. Let me get that big big. Actually, invert seems pretty interesting if they can play multiple guys. Ooh, that's... I like that tech. Just watch the game where you broke the client. It was definitely good stuff. I agree with you. I'll keep this hand. We just need one blue source here. They went to six. It's not looking good. From this moment... Oh, we're so good at this game. Did you guys know how good we are at this game? Dancer is so good. So good. So good. And we can play Glaive with uh, Guildgate out. And then we can keep up Disdainful for the turn. Actually, we can keep up Disdainful next turn if we want. Because they will have four. Oh, I'm probably going to kill that guy. Yeah, we're just going to go deadweight this guy and keep up the stroke. Keep up the stroke. Probably attacking here. I can't see uh, any reason not to. In attempt to give you actual meaningful feedback on your Patreon question, I decided I should at least inform myself and check out your Patreon page. Unfortunately, their site appears to be down. So, back to the draft. <laughs> Dimitri is not. Thank you so much, buddy. Really, still appreciate it nonetheless. Risk factor. Uh, I will take four. Have it deal four damage to me? Yes. This card is great. I'm a big fan of risk factor. It's going to be another island. You ready? It wasn't an island. Play land. Play glaive. Attack for two. Pass the turn. Attack for two. Pass the turn. Uh, fine. I accept. I accept your Vidalcan weird. This dude looks so weird. I accept your Vidalcan gentleman. I'm actually going to close this because I feel like it's slowing everything down. They have two cards? Why do we have so many cards all the time? This is very strange. Untap land. Uh, this guy's pretty good. Really don't want to take down the old uh, disdainful stroke mana. Also, not attacking here. Not going to play into your disdainful stroke either. If this guy just dies, it's going to be sad. Oh, I'm going to take four again. Yeah. They have one card in hand. I'll just take eight. Totally fine. What, what problem is, guys? An island here would be nice. Actually, I'm pretty sure uh, surveilling here is better than um, not, you know, doing the other thing. Um, yeah, we can keep both of these. The island is what we want. Faux show. Let's see if one of the two is a disdainful stroke. It was not. We're at 10. They're at 16. But I think our long game is looking real good here.
Interesting. Okay. So if I block, what happens here? Sure strike? Okay. Okay. Something's happening. Okay. Deal. I accept. I accept your terms. If only I had a gold card. Next turn I will. Do I just take down the stupid disdainful stroke? Actually, we have Sinister Strike. Maybe not. Sinister Sabotage, not Sinister Strike. I don't know what Sinister Strike is. I just made that up. Alright, now we're... I feel like we're in... Like, we can play this guy this turn. We have to have another island. To actually get... Whatever, I'm just going to play it. We have a Deadly Visit. I think it's fine. We need to start getting dudes on board. They can't counter it. Because... The only two-mana counter spell, I believe, is Disdainful Stroke, and then three and four is significantly better counters, but... Okay. Well, we wanted an island here, but... Actually, no, we didn't. We don't care anymore. Yeah, Sinister Strike is a move from an X-Men arcade game, but the, the the character who uses it has to be Mr. Sinister, right? Oh, this is going to be nice. So we can either Disdainful Stroke this, which is pretty useful. Oh, here's what we're going to do. Oh, which one are we drawing here? Put you into the graveyard, I'll put you on top. That seems fine. Yikes. That is a combo. That is a combination move if I ever saw one. Sick combination move. How many did you do? One, two, three, four, two, two and two. That's actually very good still. One, two, three. So we can actually play this guy. Hunter, you gotta stop. <laughs> this is not. Hunter, you gotta stop. This is not reasonable. Did you guys hear him there? He was really loud. He was making a. He was making a hubbub. Um. Whatever. I'm actually just going to deal four here. Like, puts him to two. And that's pretty strong. Thank you. Draw a card. Iron Chef Sammy, 31 months in a row? That is insane. That's almost three years. How is that real life? Buddy, thank you so much. Hunter does always want pats and scritches. That's all he ever wants. Which I guess isn't really that much to ask for. 2-1 incoming. I presume. Yeah, you got me good. Apologies, I didn't put up much fire crit. I feel like I said appreciate it like three times. I appreciate this. I appreciate that. I appreciate this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate that as well. Check out Patreon and Twitch. And like I said, if you guys have any interest in uh, letting me know what I can provide on Patreon uh, to, to, to pique your interest for that dollar a month tier at, at the lowest tier, um, just let me know. And if you like the content there already, you can feel free to uh, ship me a dollar a month and uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.